coming up. We sold our first crop of Beefmaster calves in uh, uh, 2016, and they were the heaviest set of calves that we had weaned uh, ever. I've got some of these cows that are, you know, 10, 12 years old off some of the first Beefmaster bulls we got um, that are still in production. The essential Beefmaster female, a steady source of sustainable profitability, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. The beef master breed has long been celebrated for its efficiency and reproduction, each serving as pillars of its enduring success in the beef industry. With registered bulls in high demand, seed stock producers provide commercial customers with genetics that generate more dollars in the feed yard and satisfy maternal needs at home. Together, they improve the nation's cow herd. For the next half hour, we'll dig deeper into this versatile breed, at times paying particular attention to the essential Beefmaster female. Our first visit takes us all the way to the Sunshine State, just 30 miles from the world-famous Daytona Beach. The ranch was acquired by my grandfather back in the early 40s. My brother Dave and I are third generation here on the ranch. It's comprised of approximately 1,700 acres, pasture land, timber land, and swamp land. We have mild winters, we have cold winters, we have dry springs, wet summers, but one thing that's always consistent is the heat and the humidity through the midsummer into the fall. All the cattle that are here right now on this property have, were born and raised here. Most of the uh, brood cows have an Angus Brangus base to them, and uh, over the past five years, we've uh, only bred to, back to beef master bulls now. We had good cattle, we felt like we're good cattle, but we felt like if we were gonna stay in the beef business, then we needed to uh, make our females even better, and that's the reason we went to the beef master. They're a very docile breed. They're very, have very, very good mothering ability. They're adaptable. They take the Florida heat and humidity well. The longevity, uh, we've got some older cows here that when we used beef master bulls for a few years back in the 80s that are still, uh, their offspring are still here. Some 18, 19 year old cows. They're, they're just good mama cows when you get right down to it. Uh, raise good calves, uh, wean heavy, but it's the replacement females that we were after and that's where the improvement in our herd is coming from now. We get, you know, 90, 95 plus uh, conception rate, raising, raising better calves, uh, doing, doing more with what we have here. And that's what we, that's what our goal is, is to have a calf every year. After the first few years, the cow's paid for. Uh, if she's not having a calf, then she's costing you money. And uh, that's the importance of, uh, you're gonna stay in this business, you want the very best that, uh, that does the best for you. A cow that you can depend on is, uh, is money in your pocket and not money out of your pocket. We sold our first crop of Beefmaster calves and uh... Uh, 2016 uh, and they were the heaviest set of calves that we had weaned uh, ever. We still had other calves that year out of some other bulls that we had used previously and and uh, strictly used the beef master bulls on one particular herd and those calves outweighed the other calves by almost 50 pounds per head. That's why we are using the beef master bulls. I firmly believe that if you don't buy bulls that are better than what cows you've got, then you're not making any improvements at that point. It's always important to have a good dependable cow around. Uh, the good dependable ones are the ones that are gonna make you money in the long run, uh, despite the market situation. Uh, if they'll consistently reproduce and have a good calf every year, that's the name of the game right there to start with, is reproduction as far as I'm concerned. These Beefmaster cows are doing that for us. 
In the fescue belt of southern Tennessee, the Jones Ranch stumbled onto the Beefmaster breed by accident. That was 33 years ago, and they'll say it was the best decision they never made. Today's choices are precise to generate what they like to call free money. I believe that there's no better female in the cattle industry than Beefmaster female. When Mr. Laster started this breed, efficiency and, and reproduction was everything with Beefmaster. So we've continued to go on with that and even push that uh, maternal index harder than before. We've measured and we've worked at it for 33 years. The cattle will grade, they'll yield, they'll perform. They're some of the best milking females in the cattle industry. The efficiencies are unparalleled by any other breed. We started in 76, 77, bought an Angus-based herd and uh, just through chance ended up buying Beefmaster bulls to go on my Angus cows. And I've never been as pleased in my life as I was. And uh, those black cross Beefmaster steers topped the feeder calf sale for three years in a row. And I said, uh, my goodness, I need to look at the purebred business. So I started and bought my first Beefmaster cattle in 1986, I think, was the first registered cattle I bought. And that started 33 year passion in my life for these cattle and I've enjoyed every day of it. You know, you have to love raising cows to, to raise cows. It's a 365, every, every day there's always something to do and you're, you're just all the time thinking, how can you make them better? What can you do to, to be more efficient and more productive? 18 years ago when I went to work managing Jones Beefmasters, I got a bull from Clark and we tried it on a, a set of cows. Uh, my daddy was kind of skeptical of it at first. When these calves come, we weaned them and, and man, we run them across the scales and they were just mashing the scales down heavy. And he's like, you know, Justin, we may be onto something here. And, and then when we took those females and got them back in the herd, I've got some of these cows that are you know, 10, 12 years old off some of the first Beefmaster bulls we got um, that are still in production. When you take all that and what it costs to develop a heifer and get her to a cow, you know, the longer she stays in production and still doing her job, I mean, that's just, that's just free money in your pocket. When you take big old stout calves and uh, good replacement females, it's not hard to distinguish why you would want to use a Beefmaster bull. In my opinion, there's nothing better in the world than Angus Beef Master Cross Female. The versatility of the cattle to use any outcross or terminal bull is just incredible. And we've seen people uh, that retain ownership, the feeding ability, the efficiency of the cattle is tremendous. Typical customer, I guess, you know, they just want something that's going to make them money at the end of the day. And I believe that's where Beef Master Cattle shine. Um, you always hear about a free lunch. Beef Masters retain over 65% heterosis. So, with that being said, you will gain more hybrid vigor with a Beefmaster versus any other breed out there. When you take all that into consideration, just your extra pounds at weaning, your longevity of your females, your fertility of your females, the libido of bulls, I mean, I just think a Beefmaster just fits perfectly into a commercial industry, especially from the fescue belt down. It don't seem to affect them that much. And so that's in this country here, a lot of people are starting to utilize that because of the um, fescue grass and how beef mushers adapt to it and thrive in it. We're gonna see a lot of great things from our breed going forward. Up next. There's no more versatile cow out there in the industry than a beef master cow. We used to wean in October, November. Now we wean in September and weaning weights went over 100 pounds heavier. A ranch that pairs two growth breeds to get calves that gain upwards of three pounds a day. That's coming up on The American Rancher. Stay with us. STBBA is the oldest satellite association within the Beefmaster industry. The goal of the satellite is to assist members in the promotion and marketing of their cattle through the sponsorship of several prestigious sales throughout the year. Don't miss these upcoming sales from the South Texas Beefmasters Breeders Association. STBBA also provides an opportunity for both social and business contacts, meeting new breeders, and exchanging ideas in order to further involvement in the Beefmaster breed. For more information, visit them online at stbba.org. 
Since 1974, the Live Oak BBA has provided superior beef master genetics globally. LOBBA hosts one of the most respected beef master bull sales and offers fall and spring replacement female sales. The Live Oak bull sale will be held January 9th in Three Rivers, Texas, and will feature 125 performance tested, visually graded bulls. This set of bulls will sell in graded order and represents the top 125 bulls out of a test group that started with over 250 competitors. Learn more at LOBBA.net. Welcome back to the American Rancher. While attractive, hardy bulls are often known to steal the spotlight, the modest hero of this legendary breed is without a doubt the essential Beefmaster female. She's universal in tropical climates of the south, high altitude or sparse sections of the west, throughout the fescue belt, and stretching into the high plains, the Beefmaster female remains constant. The National E6 sale in Columbus, Texas, and others like it throughout the plains in Florida ensure there's verified and top quality females available for purchase. So today is the National E6 sale down in Columbus, Texas. We're gonna have about 375 females that'll be sold to commercial cattlemen. Certainly been a fantastic event for the breed in terms of publicity and just getting more of these quality females out and to production for cattlemen to use out there, representing the docility, the fertility, and all the things, the six essentials that make beef masters what they are today. This sale started back in about the mid or early 90s in an effort to create a market where people could produce and have a place to sell this kind of female, and then a market where people that are looking for this type of female can come to find it. The E6 program is a commercial beef master female. They labeled her as an E6 based off the essential six traits that were used to develop the breed. And we're gonna have commercial breeders from all over the area looking to restock their pastures with beef master cross females. They're needing that genetics. They realize down here in this hot, humid, tropical region, they need cattle that can go out there and eat really low quality forage that's got high water content, fight mosquitoes, fight pests, and go out and make money for them on a hostile climate situation. The biggest uh, advantage to this event is when you get around trying to find these kind of cattle, they're hard to find. They're popular, so as such, when you find a producer that's got something of this nature to sell, they can sell them right off the farm. We've got consigners that are committed to producing these cattle and holding them for this sale, so it gives us one place where buyers can come to and get a pretty large offering. If you know the ranch that the cattle are coming from, and you know that these cattle are at least half registered beef master genetics. They give that producer that secure feeling that I'm gonna get that longevity. We know that these cattle are home raised cattle. They're gonna come in here out of vaccination programs. And a lot of our smaller producers really appreciate that and need that in their programs. There's no more versatile cow out there in the industry than a beef master cow. The beautiful part about a beef master base cow and or just beef master genetics is you can put them on anything. You can fit them in whatever program that serves your ranch the best. You can add beef master based genetics to it to get the longevity, to get the structure, to get the efficiency, and it's gonna work within the first year. She's known for her maternal traits. She's known for her longevity, along with her efficiency in the pasture, converting grass into pounds. There's not a better replacement female than a Beefmaster base cow. Originating as immigrants from Ireland, the O'Connor heritage runs deep through the roots of Victoria, Texas, and so do their Beefmaster bloodlines. Well, I first get on this ranch about 1964. I was 13 years old. My parents owned a farm implement dealership and they wanted me to work there and I liked the hide and hair aspect of it and not the nuts and bolts. So they sent me to this ranch to Mr. Williams. He was pretty tough, I understood, and uh, figured they'd break me from wanting to do this. He said, I'll see you Monday morning. It's been downhill ever since, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. We used to run about 90 something gelding saddle horses on this ranch and my job was to ride the young horses and the bad ones. And I was young and dumb and was pretty agile at the time. I did pretty good. Uh, you, you learned adequate, you learned discipline. I was at a gifted time to uh, see all that getting done. I feel sorry for the young ones nowadays, they don't get to have that opportunity. And it's long gone. Well, this ranch really was started from a fellow by the name of Tom O'Connor. He came over from Ireland as a 16-year-old boy. 
So that's, that's a lot of heritage. I mean, this is one of the families that's been in this area a long time. Martin O'Connor was my grandmother's father, so he'd have been my great-grandfather. We've done the same thing for 100 years. I want to keep doing it. <laughs> I've been blessed to be able to see the same country and do the same thing for a long, long, long time. Well, the cow herd is a, is a commercial cow herd. Over the last lot of years, we have incorporated Beefmaster bloodlines throughout the cattle. Steve and I introduced Beefmaster to his grandfather, oh, back in 1992. Two, I think. We gave him five bulls to try them. Well, he stuck them in a pretty good place and put them on some good country and pretty impressed with the calves. So we got along with it pretty good. Next thing you know, he's one of our sales. Next time he bought him a pile of them. And uh, we've been infusing them as we go here on this ranch. Uh, we can take a short leg cross kind of cow and breed her to a beef master bull. And instead of that being a terminal calf, we can also use those heifers as replacements. It's made them, made them worthwhile for us. Of course, we're putting two growth breeds together, but we do sell pounds at the end of the day. And uh, our Charlotte calves are still very marketable. We're shipping 30 days earlier than we used to. So that's a, that's a major plus. We used to wean in October, November. Now we wean in September, and weaning weights went over 100 pounds heavier. Every place I've ever gone with, with my cows here, they, uh, they gain upwards of three pounds a day, and plus they, they do really well in their transitions. E6 stands for the six essentials of Beefmaster. A set of cows, and if you're coming through the E6 program, it's just kind of like a stamp of approval. I think you can put a lot of story in it, and I'm a lot of steak, and go ahead and go for it, so. After the break. In my opinion, an E6, I don't believe there's a better cow out there, honestly. We really got to see a, a lot of our customers benefit from improving their cow herd and their feeder calf crop at the same time. An Oklahoma ranch that, despite harsh country, enjoys strong demand. And next-gen herds with longevity you'll be sure to write home about. That's next on The American Rancher. Next Gen Cattle Company is a seed stock beef master in Charley Ranch that has its roots in commercial cow-calf production, stockers, and cattle feeding. Next Gen owns two Kansas feed yards with a total capacity of 56,000 head. The Flint Hills Classic, Next Gen's annual production sale, will be held September 25th and 26th at the ranch in Paxico, Kansas. The sale will offer 250 Beefmaster and Charley bulls, 30 elite Beefmaster heifers, and a solid set of commercial females. Make plans to join us for this great event. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Beef masters are the best way to get positive maternal heterosis into the Southern Plains and deep south of the United States. The Crager Ranch in Oklahoma puts quality and high performing cattle into their region by way of beef master genetics. So I'm standing on the homestead of my great grandfather, William Thornhill Jones, who settled this quarter section in the land run of 1893. My grandpa was raised in a dugout because there, there, there weren't even enough trees hardly to make anything out of in this, this part of the country. We had our first experience with beef masters in the 70s. We bought some beef master bulls and used them in our commercial herd. And we were very pleased with the results that we had on our crossbreeding. And so we uh, thought that there would be a good bull demand in this area, so we began buying uh, registered beef master females, and uh, now we're cow calf operation, uh, purebred and commercial. So the best thing that God gave us was heterosis, and we have learned over 40 years of utilizing beef master genetics in our seed stock and commercial herds that. Beef masters are the best way to access positive maternal heterosis in your commercial cow herd, especially in the southern plains of the United States and in the deep south of the U.S. We can add growth, we can add performance and gainability, and most of all efficiency in our cow herd and in our feeder calf crop by incorporating beef master genetics. We love seeing the bulls go out and perform, and we love seeing 
the crossbred commercial heifers and steers that our customers raise when they go on their English and English and continental cows. They take a set of black cows that are used to being ponded up and timbered up all day and they get some beef master genetics on that cow herd and those cows go out and graze and work and they deal with parasites better and they're healthier and live longer and they're more efficient. We've been at this so many cow generations that we really got to see a, a lot of our customers benefit from improving their cow herd and their feeder calf crop at the same time. The Essential Beef Master Cross. There's no better cow. Our final segment stands firm on that belief. We're a next-gen cattle company out of Paxico, Kansas. This part of the world is really good country and we are a seed stock operation. We like the beef masters because they could handle the heat, they can travel a fair distance to water and, and feed and still keep their condition. And they're wonderful mothers. They raise good calves and they're a really hardy cow. And they can go into almost any environment and, and do what you need them to do. And we really like them. The half beef master calf is a wonderful calf. The half beef master female, I, I don't know that there is a better cow out there. Next Gen, they've been a good group of guys to get to know. And this will be our fourth year with the, the Beef Masters. We used them on a fall breeding project. I mean, everybody liked the calves, and then we've been using them on our spring herd for three years now. I think they're gonna make great mama cows for people, and sustainability, they're gonna last a long time with the maternal traits. In Nevada, I was there for four and a half years and we wintered our cows out. I didn't feed them any hay. When we branded in the spring, we would brand well over 92, 93% calves. And those cows would come in in the fall and breed up 93, 94, 95% bred conception rate. A lot of our grass in the Flint Hills is pretty dried up. You know, these Beefmaster cows, they'll still come home in October with a calf by their side and be in good flesh and good condition and be able to go back out with just a little bit of protein. These cattle thrive in it. Five o'clock in the afternoon when it's really, really hot and you drive by some neighbor's pastures and their cows are standing in the pond or laying under the shade trees and the Beefmaster cows are out grazing and doing what they're supposed to be doing. I would say going forward with that, having beef masters in the herd, we're gonna keep the cow herd around longer. That adds an asset to our business where we can produce them and, and sell replacements. Raising a heifer or pair that's gonna stay around for 10 years, that's, that's probably gonna help you plan ahead. Looking down the road at our ranch, I got boys coming back and so we can keep growing, but I think we're gonna find the right mamas and the right traits that are working. And then I'd like to start keeping all of our females at cow quality and either keep them for ourselves and calving out heifers or selling them right off the ranch here to other producers. The beef masters, they go out and they do what you need them to do, and that's if you're a commercial cattleman or you're, you're a guy that's in the business to raise calves, they're, they're gonna go out and get the job done and breed back and bring a big calf home, and they're just, they're really, really good cows, you know. Um, and that's why, that's why we like the beef masters. Disposition, fertility, weight, confirmation, hardiness, and milk production. That's the certified E6 Beefmaster female. With longevity and sustainability at her core, she's the cow that can do it all. Her versatility complements any program and brings cattle producers more dollars at the end of the day. For more information on the Beefmaster breed and the essential Beefmaster cross, be sure to visit beefmasters.org and like them on Facebook. We want to thank all of our generous sponsors for bringing you this inside look at Beefmaster cattle. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Pam Minnick for our entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Yeah.